Who drew this? That girl, Kelly. I think she's trying to, like, rip my head off or something. Watch out! You gotta defend yourself. Those eyes scare me every time. <laughs> K-12 is Melanie Martinez's new album and her first feature film. The movie follows a brave-hearted girl and her charming best friends as they embark on a mission to take down an oppressive schooling system. And we have the musician, actress, and director here in studio. Melanie, thanks for joining us. For before we get into it, we were talking before, you have 38 tattoos. It's Close, pretty impressive. 39, 38, yeah. Last yeah. Time I counted, it Are was you planning on keeping going or? Um, probably, but. I probably won't go like past here or on my neck. I'm just going for the more stickery kind of. Yeah, that makes it, yeah. Yeah, it's fun. They're really cool. Thanks, thank yeah. you very much. Uh, and by the way, congrats on being a multi-hyphenate already. Yeah. <laughs> Director, musician, actor, you got it all going on. You've been working on this movie since around 2015, 2016. Yeah. Mm -hmm. to, as we were saying before, like the aesthetic of it, the creative elements of this are incredible. How does it feel to have it done? You can look, there it is, it happened. <sighs> I can't believe it, honestly. Like, I'm so thrilled and I've just been reading all of the messages from fans um, who've seen it so far and the messages are so beautiful and my heart is just exploding with love, so I'm just beyond grateful. That's really. so great. Yeah, yeah I can tell really that you're really cool. yeah, radiating. Yeah, the visuals about are it. amazing. Where do you Thank draw you. the inspiration for a project um, like this? I'm really inspired by pop surrealism. So a lot of artists like Mark Ryden, Nicoletta Cecily really inspire me. I love Tim Burton movies. Edward Scissorhands is one of my faves. Beatles oh, I can, I, can, I, I can see that sprinkle. Yeah, there. absolutely. So, yeah. When it comes to the the themes of the movie, there are a lot of different themes here. What was really important for you to get across and communicate? Um, I think just. My biggest intention with creating the film was to display school as a condensed version of life. Um, and to Which also, really works, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, I think that, you know, they're very parallel, especially with like, and also there's a lot of double meaning, you know, things uh, about like the music industry, or really any industry in general. Um, so, yeah, I think my main goal too was just to make sure that I was creating music and art that can help people heal in some way, shape, or form. That's mm -hmm. always my intention with anything yeah. I create. One of the themes of the movie focuses is it's bullying, mm -hmm. and that's very common right now in schools. It's always Absolutely. been. Did you draw from your own experiences? What Definitely. was that like? Um, growing up, you know, I had like one best friend, and I would kind of like, I would make friends with like all these different kind of groups and was able to see a little peek into, you know, each group's kind of life. And I just remember, you know, I don't know, just being bullied over like small things, whether it be my gap or things that uh, made me an individual, but I was super self-conscious about it because of that. And it was really just people projecting their insecurities mm -hmm. onto me, which I think a lot of the times that's kind of what it is. It's like a defense mechanism. So, you know, uh, I wanted to make the film in part to like really uh, help kids like understand that, understand where it comes from, that it's not just like that person, you know, um, who's like, in, you know, like it's not like they want to be mean. They're just, that's kind of, their own deep insecurities, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So and once you learn that, it yeah. does yeah. help exactly. a lot. Well, it's, our, yeah. it's crazy how hard it is to learn that, especially as a, as a younger person. Mm -hmm. um, you introduced the character Crybaby mm -hmm. uh, in the music videos for your last um, album. Now this follows her a bit, mm -hmm. ends on a cliffhanger, K-12 yeah. does. Is there another movie in the works? Yes. Do you want to get your hands in, on the yes. directorial side of that again? Definitely. Um, I have my next film planned out as far as what I want to do and the film after that, and they both have albums attached to them. So, I mean, what time frame? Are we talking a year, two years? I'm not sure. Hopefully it'll be faster this time. It won't be like four years because, <laughs> you know, just because I've done it at least once. So now I know, you know, I'm past all those learning curves that I had to kind of reach and figure out. And now the momentum's there, right? Exactly, so it can, for sure. yeah, it can yeah. Keep going. As you mentioned, K-12, also an album. I know it's probably hard to choose because they're all your babies. Yeah. If you had to choose your favorite song or scene to film, what would it be? Okay, I think favorite song is Nurse's Office and favorite scene to film... Ooh, that, that one I don't know if I could answer. Uh, I would say the whole thing was just such a special experience and it was very intense, but. Um, the bus scene was intense for me. Yeah. Oh, really? I love that, yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, all of it was really magical yeah. for me, so I can't pick a scene. But. A big part of your music and uh, now this project is to sort of touch on topics that maybe people are afraid to talk Definitely. about or aren't talking yeah. enough about. Mm -hmm. um, you've opened up about fans reaching out to you and your DMs mm -hmm. and you responding to them and yeah. things like that. Is there a fan ex encounter that really stands out to you? Um, I think that in person I have a lot of special fan encounters. Like, I'll just uh, run into someone that will, you know, talk about how they're, uh, 
you know, what their experience with listening to my music or watching my music videos and how it shaped them as a person and helped them in some way, shape or form. And I'll talk to them for like, you know, like a good like hour, just like on the street, just for a long time, just getting emotional crying, you know, like. Which is life changing it's, for a person, yeah. right? It can me be. Me as well, you know, it's a, it's a huge blessing. I'm just, I'm super grateful to like have people even uh, care about my art and music and to resonate with it on such a deep level is just, it's more than what I could have dreamed of. That's amazing, yeah. especially taking time for the fans. Uh, let's play a little game. Ready okay. for a quick oh, round of rapid fire? Ooh, here okay, we go. starting with if you could have any other career, what would it be? Ooh, um, I'll just say a poet. Mm -hmm. I can see yep. it. I think yeah. you're basically that already. <laughs> uh, what, <laughs> favorite way to wind down? Like after a day like today, what are you gonna do? Oh, um, probably gonna go home, maybe watch some cartoons, chill out. Okay. Yeah, probably go to sleep, honestly. I haven't slept much because I'm just so excited. Yeah, yeah. 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 All right, favorite movie? Favorite movie, uh, probably Alice by Jan Svank Major. Yeah. Oh, uh, one musical artist that you are loving right now? Um, uh, Tierra Wack. Okay, last show you binge watched? Uh, Pen 15. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Yeah. It's my favorite. Sweet or salty snacks? Um, both. Depends on the mood. I love sweet and sweet. Oh, together, right? Yeah. Like a good trail mix that has a little bit of both. Like, yeah. I'm getting excited <laughs> about this. Jerry's Coming alive passionate. here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. Thank Congrats so on everything. Thank and everyone, you. be sure to check out K-12, through premiering on YouTube and select theaters right now.